This is the come up show that feel good music lives real recognizer. I'm here with a half of Slaughterhouse. Yeah, we them Slaughterhouse rock stars. The bitch is black. We signing every team out. We going to the tag. Introduce yourself, sir. Royce to 59, aka Nickel. Yeah, what? Joel Ortiz. Where's that? Yeah, what? Yeah, what? Yeah, what means anything. It's like fucking now. And I'm getting brain, and it feels good. I go, yeah, wah. When I'm calling my man in the hood, I'm like, yeah, wah. Yo, did you see? Like, we was performing, and it was somebody actually in the crowd with a sign up in the air that said, yeah, wah. And they spelled it right. Strong or not, this is rap basketball. Stats all you got. Long as you hot in your flow. Can hold up to knowing that all of your short goals is long shots. Royce, you say this group is like a, it's a highly efficient machine. Yeah. Can you expand on that? Man? It's a very well-oiled machine. I mean, it's very efficient. You know what I'm saying? Like, we have studio sessions. We can run three rooms at one time. We can have somebody cutting in one room, somebody writing in one room, somebody listening to beats in another room. It's like a, an assembly line. You know what I'm saying? It's like motherfuckers getting together and making the best fucking car that you can think of. Nigga, it's hip hop, rhythmic. Come on with it, I'm long-winded. I will dish you from long distances. You will not get the chance like Chopper, Ness and Dime. You know what I'm saying? It ain't nobody fucking with us. You know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't no egotistical shit. I'm, we looking at the climate of hip-hop. You got four niggas who, as solo artists, you you would go listen to a song that they featured on just because they verses on there to see what, what type of damage they're going to do. So now you're putting those four people all together. Imagine putting fucking cannabis, Lil Wayne, fucking, you know what I'm saying? Jay-Z and fucking DMX in the group. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yo, it's the same shit. So it's like, we coming for blood, man. We ain't playing. Now, Joel, what you love is, like, you guys are fans of each other's work. What you love that, you like, you can't wait what the next guy is about to do. And you try to outdo him. When you're in a group like that, does that strive you to like do your verse even better? I was a fan of Royce before I even met him. You know what I'm saying? So when I'm on stage rocking with him, when I'm doing boom with the nigga, it feels different. Because yeah. that's one of my favorite records besides him being my man. You know what I'm saying? So this is just a beautiful thing all around the board. And we just love fucking rapping, all of us. Yo, there's, no, there's no need to compete, man. Like a, an opinion has a two second life expectancy. Fucking opinion. An opinion like an asshole. You know what I'm saying? Like. It's a matter of preference. I can't do what Joel does the best better than him. You know what I'm saying? He's the best at what he does. Joey is the best at what he does. Crooked is the best at what he does. There's no need for me to try and step in his lane and think I'm going to do what he does better than him. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, what, what's the competition? It's really just you in a group with three people where well, you better do the best you can do, otherwise you're not gonna shine on the song, or you might get towed up on the internet with the comments because the fans is paying attention. I'm the blueprint. I had your clothes looking like they was designed by bullet holes and shoe prints. When I bless a joint, it's like Spock came up in the spot and grabbed the beat by the pressure point. Like we don't, we don't never try to outdo each other, but of course it's competitive because it is what it is. Like we all just love to fucking rap really well. Ain't nobody going in there like I gotta have the best verse or else. It's like yo, I'm not about to stress myself out like that. You know what I'm saying? Like I got I got a bunch of other problems. I don't want to be worried about is my verse better than Joel's. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm adding stress on myself. You know what I'm saying? You know we we joke around and shit like oh you you caught me on that one and shit like that. We don't mean no harm with it, but we just competitive dudes and we love hip hop and shit like that. Everybody think I'm so serious all the time when I'm actually not. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, probably because all I rap about is my gun, my dick, my gun, my dick, my dick, my gun. It's just because I like my dick, love my gun, so I'm gonna rap about it. <laughs> turn up the motherfucking sound on that microphone, but turn it down if you weak on that microphone. Lame niggas shouldn't speak on that microphone. My ultrasound show me holding a microphone. That's all my mama, I was born with a microphone. Uh, one of my favorite songs in the album is uh, Cut You Loose. And why I like every artist says, 
Uh, Royce say I'm through as a fan. Joel, you say sometimes I wish it was dead rather than alive because it looks stupid alive. Like, can you guys expand on this song? Like, what do you mean? Like, you gave up as a fan? You gave up? I think I think I think hip hop is for children. Wow. It's like like the 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 age that you are when you're into the WWF. Like that that's the age where hip hop should capture you, and you're gonna be influenced by it. But you grow out of it as a fan. It ain't no nigga our age gonna hang no nigga poster up on the wall. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're not that kind of a fan. Even though you still love, you love, you love hip hop. You follow certain people, but once you become an artist, your ear becomes jaded. You begin to judge people. You start saying, "Yo, I can hear mistakes. I can hear where he fucked up here." And I can. I'm to the point now, my nigga. I can hear niggas punches. If you punch, if you punch on one of your lines on your song, and the engineer ain't clean it up the right way, I can hear it. It's like I'm all fucked up. So it's like I can't even call myself a fan no more. Even though I am, I still love the music. I still admire people. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, not like a kid. Like, you know what I'm saying? They're not giving a fair balance in hip-hop. They're giving the kids one thing to like. And then we float on the underground. And if, you, if you're internet savvy, you can catch us. It's not fair. Fuck that. <laughs> we the fucking best group. And I don't even mean it on some grab my dick shit. I just mean it on some grab my dick shit. Meaning that, yo, we the fucking best. Acknowledge it. And shit, if you feel otherwise, then feel free. We invite everyone. We the, we the hip hop hotel group. Be our guests. Any any uh, last words, uh, Royce, before we get out of here? Yo, just thank you for all the continued support. T Dot was a great crowd tonight. I can't keep stressing that, man. Like, we, we only about four shows in, but this is by far. Like, Halifax was crazy. But this show tonight was by far the most energy, the most hip hop was just in the building, man. I love to see it. Like this venue right here is actually the same size as St. Andrews. Like when I, I asked about the capacity, it's about the same. And this shit was full, man. Like I hope that we can one day do the same thing in Detroit, man. And it's just, it's an honor, man. I really respect you. Thank you for the love. Thank you very much for giving me the time, guys. This is the come up show that feel good music lives. Real, recognized, real. Yeah. And how ironic is it that I'm riding around listening to niggas